Hi, I'd like to show you how easy it is to share your schedule with somebody who might not have access to your FileMaker solution. So let's say that I want to send a, a schedule of a project to that customer or to contractors that are working on the project. Let's see what that would look like. So I'm going to go over to filters and I'm going to find just one project and it's called Woodworth and we'll apply that. And so now we've reduced this month view to see just the events from that project, but I don't really get a sense of what's happening with the project from the month view. So I'm going to switch over to the horizon view where it's a little easier to see what's going on. So this is cool. I'll just nudge it a few dates and now I can see all the way from the kickoff meeting to the delivery. This is great. So this is the view that I want to share with my customer. So I'm going to move over here to the share menu and I'll click share and share this view. Let's give it a name, uh, project, and it'll expire in 90 days, which is great. That's just about how long this project is. So I'll click create share. And what Dayback will do for us is make a public URL for that project for exactly what I was looking at when I made the share. And if I click view share, it'll open that up in Safari and show it to us. And you can see we've left FileMaker. We're now at Dayback's server and we're looking at our project, which is great. And everything here works. Like the filters continue to work. If I want to see what's begun or what's awaiting approval, I can, I can see that, but I can't change anything here, right? These events are, are read only. But changes that I make uh, back in Dayback will get synced up to it automatically. So let's say this item, this is the one where we're awaiting approval. Let's say we got our approval and it's now ready. So I'll click save here. And when I click save, that change has been synced up to our share. So if I go back to the share and click refresh, that event should turn green and it does. And that's true for any changes I make here, like changing dates or changing who the event is scheduled for. Um, all those changes get synced to the share uh, automatically, which, which is great. Um, we're using this for all kinds of things. So in addition to this kind of thing, I, I, I'm using it a lot for um, making appointments with folks. Folks want to know when I'm available for appointments, but I have a busy schedule. So let, let's take a look at what that looks like. So I'll clear this uh, filter and go back to, I think, the week view. And let's find a week here. It's kind of busy. Great. So here's a week that's kind of busy. What I want to do is I want to make um, appointments kind of in the gaps here. Like when I, like I could meet with somebody from 930 on, so I'll just make a new appointment and I'll say John uh, available. And let's create a new status for this called available. And once you do this, this all goes real quick and we'll make it red or green, make it green. And then we'll tag this with available. And so once I've made one of these, I can drag it and make it bigger. And I can also option drag it to different days. So it's really easy for me to kind of block out when I'm able to meet with people. So this is great. And then a little time on Friday, kind of for the whole day. And so then once I've done that, now I have a filter that I can just switch to and I can share this view. So let's see, um, uh, available for meetings. Let's just say seven days. And when I click create share, we'll get another URL. And if we go look at that one, this is what I can send to people and let them know when I'm available for meetings. And as meetings um, happen, so I'm kind of back working in Dayback. And as meetings happen, like this gets brought in there, I can just kind of shorten that up. And then that change will get made automatically on my share. So I never have to keep sending emails to people and letting them know that my availability has changed. My availability is just keeping up with me as I do my regular work in Dayback, which is super useful. Um, the other thing that's cool here is if I go to manage shares and I want to jump back to any of these, I can click update and it'll refocus me on the project that I was at. So we can see before I do that, we can see that I'm at the week view for April 16th and I don't have any filters applied. If I go to manage shares and go back to this project, it's going to snap me back to the view I was on and come back and apply my filters, which is great. They kind of act like bookmarks. And the other thing that did is that update button resynced all this information to the share because I may have manipulated these events elsewhere outside of Dayback, like in my own FileMaker layouts. And that update button will catch the share up to any edits that you didn't make here in Dayback's interface. We're finding this to be a super useful way to schedule events with uh, schedule meetings, schedule events. We're actually using this to publish the pause on error schedule. Anytime where you need to make a more public version of your events available to folks that don't have access to your FileMaker solution.
The other great thing about this is that it doesn't really require anything. It's all happening right here in your FileMaker Pro client. So I don't need to install anything on my FileMaker server. I don't even have to have a FileMaker Pro server because we're just communicating directly between this layout that you're on and Dayback's server. So it's really lightweight. It's probably the simplest way to share events outside of FileMaker because you don't have to install anything on your server. You don't even have to have a server. And when people come to visit these URLs and refresh them and look at them and everything, they're not looking at your FileMaker server. You're not getting any traffic. They're just coming to Dayback. We've found this to be really useful. We hope you and your clients find it useful as well. It's available in the latest in-app update to Dayback for FileMaker. Please download a copy and check it out. And if you already have Dayback, Get up to date and start sharing. I think you'll really find this useful. Thanks.